Hi, Valdo. Hi, Valdo. Well, good morning. Is this Gabriel Luna and Alfred Molina? Yes, ma'am. This is. Well, thank you. I'm so very honored that you joined me here on the Valdo Beebe Show live from Dallas, Texas. Well, oh, thank you. Wow. Very nice to be with you. Well, I am so excited to talk with you guys. And I was looking at the El Rey Network. What a great concept. And what two handsome guys to be on such a great channel. Well, thank you very much. Are that's, you flirting with us? That's the Texas girl in her. She's <laughs> I, that's the te- he's right. That's the Texas girl in me. I got to get. I got to get down to Texas real fast. Oh yes, we're we're a whole other planet, guy. Right. Well, I'm from Austin, Valder. <laughs> well, thank you so Austin. much. Well, great. Let me ask you. We're going to start about Matador. My producer tells me get on with it. We're going to start with Matador. <laughs> I looked at all the clips and. Let's start with you, Mr. Luna. Tell me about this sexy uh, show you got going on. <laughs> I don't know how I can, when he's looking at me that way, I don't know how I can answer the question. Uh, no, there's, uh, well, I'm, I'm glad you feel that way. I think that's one of the angles that we're trying to, we're definitely trying to achieve. And um, I guess if the first couple episodes are any indication, you're going to, see a lot of me and and a lot of uh and a lot of the romantic element of the show but uh yeah no it's really not it's sleek it's it's stylish and um uh you know there's a, a professional sports aspect to it which is which is a great fantasy that many young men and women have and just it's it's uh, almost probably even more fantastical than than any any other uh facet of the show the spy or the action or anything else just the sports in and of itself. So all of the elements of it are really sleek and stylish and sexy. And, and, um, and then, uh, and then of course each, each episode takes on the form of whatever director, because Robert, Robert Rodriguez gives every director carte blanche to just make their own 43 minute movie. So it's just, it's, we're constantly changing in our process too. So it, it keeps it fresh and it keeps it, uh, um, it keeps it nice. Yeah. Just, I guess, sexy as you put it. Okay, sexy. I like that. Alpha Molina, let me ask you. You are like my heartthrob. And you guys are going to have to forgive me today because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> I loved you in Frida. I loved you. And they didn't do enough of you in Spider-Man. But I see you coming to this genre. Tell me how it is because you're such a big persona to come to this particular genre of film. Well, it's it, what's really attractive about it is is finding um, a place where you can work on a character, develop a character alongside the writers and the showrunners. So you're you know you, you you become part of much part of the creative process at a much earlier stage. So you're kind of growing with it, which is very very exciting, right? You know, as opposed to you know doing a a, a, a movie where everything's already prescribed and you're just kind of slotting in to fit. An already existing um, sort of vision of what 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 needs to be done, and plus it's a brand new network. It's uh, it's a network with all of Robert Rodriguez's sensibilities, you know. And I've I've been a huge fan of Robert's films for many years, so I'm I was absolutely thrilled that he was involved and so closely involved. You know, it's not just he hasn't just given his name to the network. He's actually uh, he's actually a huge part of of the whole of the identity of the network of the style of it. And unlike other networks where they're basically having to satisfy the needs of advertisers, here you've got a wonderful opportunity where some creative, very creative people are actually saying, this is the kind of stuff we want to watch, this is the kind of stuff we like to see, and we hope you do too. And so they're creating something that's very personal and very much their own vision and offering it to an audience who seem to be responding very positively to it. So the whole thing is a, it's a very exciting prospect. It is, and I, I see such an evolution going on in, in watching, and I, that's what I call it, watching, whether we're watching on our phones, or our iPads, our television screens, mm-hmm. watching, or at the movies, it's changed. I want to ask you, Gabriel, uh, what do you think your, your matador is going to do for soccer? Because I see it overtaking football, thank God. But anyway. Well, I, I, no, I think, uh, you know, the, uh, the game, I mean, globally... I think our show will be very popular internationally. I think, uh, uh, in, I think that's that's. Almost, I don't. I don't want to count my chickens, but I think it's almost a given. I just think it's because people are thirsty for that. All the soccer fans that I talk to mm-hmm. are uh, are thrilled by the um, by the prospect of 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 
the MLS or any other American soccer league rising to the level of 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 the Premiership or, or you know La Liga or all these other you know world renowned soccer leagues and 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 the way we treat the the game and the show is is it's not a minor league it's not a minor league it's 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 the uh, we treat it in a very uh, prestigious way, you know. That the, the is as if the game had met what 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 you just proposed, which is the game itself becomes bigger than all of the sports, which it is everywhere else in the world. Um, but uh, but I think I think our show is just because the way science fiction becomes science fact, the way that uh, all the ideas, you know, all the all of our imaginary. Um, prospects and friends come to life if we just you know we we will them to to reality and i think if we just show people this this uh this uh you know this idea of the game that's 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 now to the to the being held at the at the, at the heights that we want it to be held uh then it will be you know and then uh, so that, that all the people i've talked to they love that side of the show the fact that so- soccer's treated like this major league sport which which it is you know well, I love what you guys are doing on the network. And tell Mr. Rodriguez, tell him you go, guy, because it's really going to change the game. I want to find out is when you guys want us to tune in to Matador. I'm sorry. When do you want us to tune in? Oh, you guys on Tuesdays. Schedule? Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, well, you're uh, both eye candy. And I didn't get a chance to talk about your great cast. I'll have to have you back again. But I want to thank you so much. I'm so excited. I will be a fan of this. I cannot wait to start to connect and to tune in. And I want to thank you for coming to my show, The Valder BB Show. It made my day. Thank you. It's very sweet of you, Valder. Thanks very much for having us. Well, thank you so very much. And Alfred, I'll be looking for your next big screen movie. Thank you. See you in Texas.